You're watching Fox 6 News at 10 with Ted Perry, Mary Stoker Smith, Chief Meteorologist Vince Candela, and Tom Pippen Sports. Because your news team matters. If you find yourself due for a required emissions test for your car, this reminder of the old state run centers, they're not there. They're gone. It happened over the summer, and when Katrina Cravey got a complaint about one of the new locations, it was time for Contact 6 to go on an emissions mission. Long lines for emissions testing, now a thing of the past. Last July, Southeast Wisconsin closed its nine testing facilities, and now almost 200 auto shops are doing the job. It's a big change that comes with different opinions. I think it might be easier because it would be like all over the city instead of just certain places where you have to actually drive further. I thought it took a little bit longer than when you just drive in the emissions place and they just plug the little thing up. And now that full service shops are doing the job, some are worried they might offer you repairs you don't really need. One of our viewers did. He sent Contact 6 this complaint. Driver says his vehicle failed emissions but was told for $20 workers could figure out why. He declined and says he returned later that same day to the same facility. This time, his vehicle passed. The company told us it was a misunderstanding and we couldn't find that it did anything wrong, but we did find it has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. In fact, several facilities on the list have Fs. And Contact 6 found one shop that has two complaints with the state's Consumer Protection Office, both for repairs done without customer consent. So how did the state choose them to be an emissions site? It didn't know about the complaints because it never looked. I appreciate you guys actually bringing this forward. Scott Selbach oversees the new emissions That's program right. for the DOT. It pays $2.6 million to SysTech International, a private company that runs vehicle inspection programs all over the country. Selbach says SysTech chose the sites based on location, qualified staff, and the ability to handle a lot of customers. The one thing that you want to keep in mind is the Department of Transportation, by contract, we have the ability to remove an inspection facility for any reason at any time. The DOT says it'll be doing announced and covert checkups on all of these sites to make sure that they're sticking to the rules. We called the companies involved and asked them about their customer complaints. Most told us they didn't know they had bad ratings and they're gonna be working with the BBB and Consumer Protection to resolve the issues. I'm Katrina Cravey, Contact 6. Katrina, thank you. Well, tomorrow, Milwaukee's city county Christmas tree is coming down. The tree will be cut down from a home near 25th and Star.